Hey, it's your friend uh, Froom Bark, and today we're going to take a look at the Ryobi Score. It's a model 760 and 761. Uh, they come in a package together. Uh, the 760 is the master unit, and the 761 is the secondary unit. Uh, basically, this is uh, one of their hybrid type models where it runs off either the 18 volt 1 plus battery platform or you can also use a, I shouldn't hold this black thing up in front of my black shirt I'm realizing, but it's basically an AC adapter that you can plug the speaker into. The kit comes with both with an AC adapter for each speaker, uh, which is pretty handy. The neat thing about these units is, of course, that you can run them on either AC or DC. And the thing that Ryobi has always prided themselves on is the fact that you can run all of their tools off of the one plus battery platform regardless of the tool or the battery. Well, we've come to a kind of a little bit of a change in that uh, because there comes a slip of paper with the unit that tells you that if you have P103 batteries, which is what this little guy is right here, you may experience some trouble and they tell you that uh, you need to switch to a P108 or plug it into AC power if this stops working. Which incidentally happened to me. I have three of these and uh, one works and two don't. So, kind of a bummer. You yourself, how's the battery life on this thing? That's actually a huge positive. These last a long time on one of the P108 batteries. I had uh, probably ran this for about 15 hours it still only got down to a quarter bar on this thing, so it just lasts a long time. I got sick of time in it and gave up. So, um, if you have to know what the ultimate time is, I couldn't tell you. It lasts a long time. Besides that, you're going to pick a pair of these up. I totally recommend that you look at Ska Wireless on YouTube. They are the company that has developed the Ska technology that allows multiple speakers to be driven through one uh, primary source. And they have a lot of tutorials on these speakers particularly, which is where I got most of my information. Uh, the Ryobi uh, information on this is basically just propaganda to tell you how awesome they are. And uh, But the Scott Wireless is where you want to look at on YouTube. Instead of doing a boring uh, feature video about these things, I want to answer, try to answer some of the questions that you probably have about these. Uh, specifically, how do they sound? They sound really good. Uh, they're very clear. They work great using Bluetooth, and uh, there's an aux feature in here where you can plug in just your regular uh, 3.5 millimeter banana type plug. Is that right? Three. Anyhow, uh, it works good using that. It has an FM radio, which has probably the best tuner of any of my battery powered uh, tools. I have a Milwaukee. Uh, radio and the tuner and that stinks and I have another Ryobi radio and the tuner on that's okay but this is definitely better a uh, big downside is it does not have F uh, it does not have AM which sucks for me because I like to listen to sports talk in the morning so uh, you just have to use your phone and and run the app for that and play it through Bluetooth on here so it's just kind of a bummer it doesn't have AM now a bit of a drawback with this unit is that even though it has really uh, nice sound in the high and mid range, there's practically no bass with these units at all. So if you're trying to pound out some music, it's not going to have the full sound that you're probably hoping for. Uh, in fact, my girlfriend and I were listening to these on the patio and uh, we had to switch to a different set. Of, uh, we switched to the Milwaukee cordless unit because it actually had some bass to it and these just could not drive uh, 80's metal bands. One of the I'm things saying. they like to advertise that is that you can uh, change the volume of each speaker independently, which you can do, which is kind of a pro and a con. Uh, the, the pro is that if you turn them on and you had one speaker closer to you and one farther away, you can adjust them so they're correct, so they're not out of balance to your ear. But the downside is uh, that only work if you're that using these devices in either radio or aux mode. If you change the volume at the main unit, then you have to walk somewhere else to change the volume of the secondary unit. So it's kind of a pain in the neck. So you would think that with this being a Bluetooth driven device, uh, you would be able to adjust the volume using your phone or whatever device you're using. 
and you kind of can if you're using this in Bluetooth mode you can adjust the volume up and down on your phone uh, but this doesn't play in stereo so you're just changing it up and down by itself if you want to make these speakers into a stereo speaker you have to spend more money so what you have to do is buy a dongle that's going to plug into your phone and then whatever that device is is going to change if you have Android or iPhone or if you're plugging it into your computer or whatever they, they, uh, Sky has about seven different things that you can use to dry, uh, change the volume on these speakers and do different things but it's a real shame uh, that Ryobi doesn't have an app that allows you to control your speakers from your phone independently and create a stereo signal. I think that's a huge bummer and uh, really detracts from the value of the unit. One of the real beefs I have with this unit is that the secondary unit doesn't have any display. So you can't tell when you turn it on where your volume is set at. Uh, so if you were listening to it on the uh, Bluetooth, the Bluetooth audio is not as loud as the radio. So you probably would, if you're listening on Bluetooth, you probably got it about twice as loud on Bluetooth as you would with the radio. So if you turned on the regular unit and it was on Bluetooth and you switched it to uh, FM, the volume is just going to blast and it's going to kill you. So it'd be nice if you turn this on and you could see where you're at before you start before you started sending uh, music to it. So you might ask the question, should I take these to the job site or take them camping? Uh, probably not, unless you have some place to light. Well, they're one, not loud enough for a job site. They're, they're pretty loud in your garage and probably in like a small room in your house, but they're definitely not job site loud and they're definitely not job site durable. This plastic is very lightweight uh, it would not take any damage at all. Instructions even say for indoor use only, and it's even printed on the bottom. Well, you can read it at Real your leisure. Videos. They say almost every in every single one of them that this handle also doubles as a phone holder. You know, I guess if you're using your sister's phone. I will have to say that the fact you have to turn each speaker on independently is a bit of a bummer, and you have to walk up to the unit and turn it on is also a bit of a bummer. A nice thing is though the Scott technology allows you to use different brands of speakers with within its range so if you had two Ryobis and I can't remember the other brands that are also using this audio technology you could use different brands within uh, one system and not suffer so that's pretty cool one of the selling points of this unit is that it has a 150 foot range and it does. It's it's pretty much a 150 foot line of sight range. I took it out and tried it, and I feel confident in saying that it has a 150 foot range. This is the uh, 760 primary unit, and it's about 150 feet away from me. I'm going to zoom out here. And you can see that I am using the repeater right here. So I take about six more steps back and I lose reception. And then on Ryobi, one of Ryobi's promo videos, they say it goes through walls, which it kind of goes through walls. I had it inside the house and then I was out on the patio with it and it worked pretty good, but you will get some interference. I put the transmitter in my camper and then walked about 15 feet and took a corner and I did not get any reception, I meaning it cut out right away. So your reception through walls is going to be mixed. It's not that fantastic. I'm not going to say, yeah, it totally does that. It kind of does it. And depending on what you're trying to transmit through, it may or may not work. So you can see I have a little trouble with reception. And that's because I just moved my truck in front of the uh, transmitter. The question is, would I actually recommend these? And I would have to say kind of. If I knew for sure Ryobi was coming out with an app, or more likely Scott Wireless, uh, with an app that allowed me to control the speakers as a stereo unit, I would say yes. Uh, but since you have to purchase one of their devices to actually make this work the way I think it's supposed to work, I'm a little more iffy on it. The sound on them is really very nice. The bass is terrible on these. 
or I, well, it's non-existent essentially. Uh, but the sound is really, I enjoy listening to them. If you want to use them as like a, I actually really like using them as a set of uh, separate speakers for my computer. So you can use your computer if your computer has Bluetooth, and you can put them out and listen to stuff on there, and, and the sound and volume is much better uh, with these than what you're getting off your computer speakers. It works good that way. Anyhow, I hope my ramblings helped you in some fashion. And uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to give it a reasonable answer. So thanks for watching.